Uh, okay, we got Minnie the Body Shop Girl here. How you doing today? Good. You doing all right? Yeah, sure. I'm great. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why you got you all set? Okay, let's start over. Come here. Right, I'm starting over. Come here. Come here, please. Hey, I really don't want to fucking even film today. Okay. You know? Seven, five, nine. All right, we got Minnie the Body Shop Girl here today. How you doing? Yeah, I'm great. <laughs> God, come on, man. It's a good day today. You saw the yeah, sunrise. If you lived with me, if you lived with me, yeah, you'd say it was a great fucking day. <laughs> Living with you every fucking day. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. Okay, come over here and stand here, please. <laughs> All right, we got me the body shop girl today. How you doing? You doing all right? Yeah, great. You gonna be nice to me this morning? Yeah. Now? Yeah, sure. Oh, it's been a couple hours, so now you're gonna be nice. Yeah, we'll be nice today. Great. Okay, we're gonna be nice to me the body well, shop you girl today. This morning. What did I do this morning? What happened? What's going on? It's nobody's fucking business. <laughs> okay. Uh. Typical morning over uh, DIY Auto School, SWRNC. Yeah. We got Minnie the Body Shop Girl. And what we're doing today, we're going to just keep on moving forward on this, um, is we got a car here. Now, what kind of car is that, my friend Pete? Because Minnie the Body Shop Girl is going to tell us. Can you go ahead and tell us, Minnie the Body Shop Girl? Oh, my friend Pete, it's a piece of shit. It's actually a GTO. Hold on, what was that? You said something about a piece of shit. According to Pete, it's a piece I of shit. I didn't say it's a piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, you did. What did I say every was a car piece of shit? Comes in here, you say that. Well, they are pieces of shit. That's why they're here being restored. That's what you and most of these people don't understand. Okay? Is when they come here, that's why they're here, because they're pieces of shit and they need restored. So when you restore a car, then it's a beautiful piece of, of, of machinery. Yeah, okay. So according to many, we got a big pile of shit here. That won't fit in the toilet and we can't flush it down the drain. So we're going to have to fix that problem and make it a beautiful situation out of nothing. Hold on a minute. What? That's behind the camera. What is? The big piece of shit that won't go down the toilet. Oh, go I ahead. Answer your phone, you all girl. Okay, so Minnie's in a uh, semi-bad mood today for reasons of uh, insanity. We'll just go ahead and say, what we're doing is we are stripping this car to bare metal. Bare metal, and we're going to use a product called Cooper's Strip Club. Cooper's Stripper from, I believe, New Zealand. It's either New Zealand or Netherlands. Check it out online. Cooper's Strip Club. It doesn't say to do this in their instructions, but I went ahead and did it anyway to make the process faster, and I'm going to show you. What I did is I took... My Bondo Buster, which is a basically a big oversized DA sander that's a not a dual action but a single action sander. And I went ahead and took some 36 grit and I roughed all the paint up. And in areas of the car, you can see right here, I went to bare metal. Now this car has the factory original primer on it. Factory original primer on these cars is hard to chemical strip. So what we're going to do is we are going to chemical strip this using the Cooper stripper. Cooper stripper club stripper action. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. And many of the body shop girl over here, Miss, Miss uh, Wonderful U-Haul lady, is going to strip the car. So I have got to show her how to do this using the Cooper system. Because it's not the same as the regular stuff where we brush it on. Okay? Yep. Anything else you got to throw in there about the shit? Nope, let's just get doing. Okay. So, before we move further, I want to go ahead and explain why I sanded this down. If you sand it down like I did, kind of just randomly do what you're looking at, the car will strip a lot better chemically because the chemical will get underneath all of the primer and start stripping it down a lot quicker. Now you don't have to do this, you can just go ahead and put the stripper on there and strip it and it'll take you four, five, six licks to get it going. But by doing this right here will help you out and save a lot of time in the process. Now normally we would use a stripper called aircraft stripper. 
Can you go ahead and film while I'm talking, please? Uh, this is kind of getting a little uh, 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 obstructable here. Can you do that? Okay. That was nice of you to grab that out of my hand while I was still talking. So normally what we would use is this stuff right here. This is called aircraft stripper. But to use this stripper, the way that they have designed it now, it's not like it used to be. And when I say that, you used to be able to do what with that? Many of the body shop girl. You used to be able to get it down to bare metal in one or two applications. Right. You just brush it on. You wait 30, 40 minutes. You come back, scrape it off. It's done, right? Yeah. And that stuff yes. burns and you yeah. can't it breathe used to burn. it. And, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. It so now done. what they have done is they have now complicated the system by not just brushing it on, but going out and buying four or five or several more boxes of cellophane wrap. And after you apply this, they require that you take cellophane and you cover the whole surface with it and wait approximately an hour before you remove it. Go back into this channel, into the video sets, Aircraft Stripper versus Cooper, and you're going to see the mess that this makes by using that and doing that procedure. So we're not going to use the aircraft stripper today. What we are going to do is we're going to use this stripper. This is called paint varnish stripper. This is from, the, what did I say it was from, the Netherlands? No, New Zealand. New Zealand. This is from New Zealand. They ship all over the world. Go back into my videos once again. There's a link at the bottom in the descriptions that will take you to the aircraft versus Cooper. You're going to see the difference and how this stuff works. To use this properly, you have to know how to use it, and that's why Minnie the Body Shop Girl is here, so I can teach her the proper way of how to use it. set up and then everybody that's watching this hopefully you're a newbie at this and you're going to figure it out too can you go ahead and kind of dump them products out right here yes yeah all that stuff there this is our system here's our steel wool that comes with your kit this is our um scotch bright that they supply and then in this bag right here um if you notice we got a spray bottle here many and then also there's miscellaneous brushes. Can you see that? Wow, that's a pretty nice kit. Yeah. And then once again, there's more nozzles in here. And there's another spray bottle. Now this is an industrial spray nozzle. They gave me extra ones. Um, so we got extras. Now what this is for, this right here, this actually screws on to this gallon jug right here. So if you can remove that cap and put this cap on. And then we want this to face where it's, it's at a pourable situation. You might have to get some pliers for that, please. Okay, so once again, we're going to kind of teach Minnie how to use. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now we're going to take the lid off of our stripper very slowly so it will breathe. And this is a liquid form. This is not a gel form. So this is our pour lid. And what we're going to do is we're going to screw this on here just like this, and we want to make sure that that's facing all right, this way right there. Do you see what I'm saying? You got your pliers, we don't want that to leak. Now if you can hold this like that and tighten that, I'd appreciate it. There you go. Hold it and tighten it. All right, so now it's tight. Don't over tighten it. Now what this is, this is a pour spout to pour our liquid into our container. Nice. You see how that works, man, oh, the body shop you girl. You can lay it on its side. Well, hang on a minute now. And then you turn the lever. Okay, let's not, okay. It's yeah. like a water thing. Kind of, yes. And okay. then you turn the lever. Yeah, you can do it that way if you want to, which is nice to know. But we can also go ahead and open that up, just like that, and then kind of go like this. And like Minnie said, 
Pour it in there. So many had a good idea there, because that isn't how my friend Pete did it the first time. I was actually pouring it in there. So yeah, this is like a keg. Would you call this a keg system? A water fountain. Yeah, oh, there you go. So we're going to fill that up just like that. Now one thing that Cooper uh, suggests, and I didn't do that, but I'm going to show you. If you look close, you can see that the tip that they send you is longer than the one I cut. And they said to keep it long because it will form in the bottle and make sure and to pick it all up. get every drop. Yes. Many of the body shop girl actually acts like she already knows what's going on here. So we're going to put that in there and kind of twist it around. Common sense, people. Okay. okay, so what we got here, we got some rubber gloves that actually fit Minnie. These are actually Minnie's gloves. These are actually Minnie's gloves. You can see that she's done this before. Let's get the camera up here because now the camera's all screwed up. There we go. So now we got Minnie's body shop girl back in the picture. So these are actually Minnie's vintage rubber gloves here that she's going to use today. I've stripped a car. How many? How long have you had those? Ten years? Long time. Long time. Until they get a hole in yeah. them and I get a new pair. And then what we got, we got miscellaneous uh, stripper tools. These are scrape, just old scrapers that we use. And then, of course, she's got the brushes that Cooper supplied to get in those tight, obscure places. Neutral. That's actually pretty nice that they yeah, supply those. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. And uh, all this. Right. Now, I want to go ahead and explain the steel wool. Um, they actually make their own steel wool there. This is not like the steel wool that you would buy in America. So what you do on this is you can see that it's kind of long. So you would literally just cut a piece off like this. And then, instead of, uh, like in America, the steel wool we have here, they're little balls of steel wool, you kind of just take this and you open it up like this. You see what I'm doing here? Mini the body shop girl. And then, you can use it like this, and then you just kind of roll it around, you open it up. And actually, this steel wool lasts a lot longer, believe it or not, than regular steel wool. I don't know why. And then what we use the Scotch Brights for, and we're not even to that stage, I'm kind of jumping ahead is they actually have a, they call it a flusher. It's a cleaner. Now, they claim that you don't have to use water to wash off their stripper. You use this stuff here, and the way that you wash it is you're using this right here. Do you see that? So we're using this last, and it doesn't take a lot. Now, one more important thing, and I did use this, and it did work, but I noticed that you have to kind of use it continuously. And what this is, this is a special lotion that they've designed called Skin Guard. And what you do, you can go ahead and put it on your arms. And what that does, that protects your arms so when you're squirting that, and there might be a small breeze, the stripper doesn't burn your skin and affect you. So, so, oh, so this is like real stripper that actually has stuff in this it. This is real stripper that has the real stuff in it, where it unlike has, the aircraft stripper that where it's all gone. That the EPA ruined. Right. This is actually the authentic 100%. And I want to go ahead and stress one more time, this is not a gel, this is a liquid. And I was very, very shocked when I used this, how good it, it worked. It was unbelievable and just astonishing that this worked that good. Um, one more thing I want to say about Cooper stripping, I'm going to bring that up here, is that the, uh, the uh, what is that, the smell, what, what's another word for the smell, the aroma, the, the, uh, Vapor. The vapors that this puts off is very, very minimal. Can you smell anything I in the air? I haven't okay. smelt anything yet. That's why I haven't smelt nothing yet. Right. So by using this, even is an environmentally safe product, uh, uh, what can we say, air-wise. Now, I will say that you want to do this in a controlled area that is very, uh, what well can we ventilated. say, well-ventilated, well-ventilated area. Don't do this with your doors closed down. Very important to have them. I got my big door over there, and then Minnie's going to actually open that door about that far so we can get a good breeze going through. If you can do that for me, please. Just open it about as high as that uh, bucket. And then what we got, we got a nice ventilation going for Minnie. Now, before we do anything, now I want to go ahead and explain again. I went ahead and roughed my surface up. That's going to make it a quicker stripper job for Minnie, the body shop girl. But what I want to do, I want to take a dust broom. And what I want to do is, I want to just take all the dust off because you want a nice clean surface 
to start out with because what will happen if you leave all the dust on there, um, the stripper that you're going to spray on it will just penetrate into that and it, it, it'll waste a lot. So make sure that you get all the dust and debris off of your car before you do any stripping at all. Okay, so once that's done, the next thing we're going to do is if Minnie can go ahead and adjust her sprayer, make sure that you point it on the car as you adjust it, not toward your face. I'm looking to see if it's got any kind of direction on it. Well, I think I already had it, but go ahead and try You have to pump it up you start getting it going. There you go. Now, hold on right there. This is the situation you have on this stripper. Normally, by the time you put the first coat on from one end all the way down to the other, you're ready to start putting the other coat on. So you want to repeat yourself three times, then after you're done doing that, then wait approximately 30 minutes, and then after that, you're ready to start seeing the paint fall off. By the time Minnie gets from there to here, we're going to go over there and look, and I guarantee you, you're going to see if Minnie looks at it. It's I bet. Okay, hold on. Minnie said it's already starting to strip. Let's get a good angle at it. Now, are you sure about that? No, Pete, I'm not sure. I'm stupid. Oh, okay. Looky there. And that was just a sprinkle, people. That wasn't even a full spray. So, you can see it's already stripping. So, by looking at that, what do you think of this stripper so far? Just... Um, I think I'm going to like it. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the whole side of the car. Get a nice, good... Uh, uh, saturation on there, you know, like I said, a medium wet coat, doesn't have to be super, super thick, and then once you do that, repeat yourself two more times, Mini the Body Shop Girl. Make sure you cover the whole surface, that's a little bit fast, I'd go a little slower, I'd go a little slower so it really covers good. More like that? Yeah, you'll get the hang of it, it takes a few times, but you'll get the hang of how it works. Um, I mean, you got to make sure the whole surface is wet, not spotty. So, what we're trying to say here is the first coat that you put on, it's really not going to do any good because you can see where it's penetrating in. Oh, hell, it is. Hmm. So, now you wanna, you're doing it a little bit thin. Let's go ahead and put a thicker coat on it and go a little bit slower. So, you can kind of see how I'm doing it. It's not a real thick coat but it's a consistent coat that's going to cover the whole situation that we need. One more thing about this stripper I want to tell you, it will not harm your, your chrome or your glass. So don't worry about getting it on your chrome or your glass. It will not harm it. And now what we've done, we have now saturated the side of the car with three coats. Minnie's going back and checking it out. Now, I didn't sand down there. I know, that's a bit more. Okay, so we didn't sand this down here, but um, I did do this. And you can see, just by the looks of it, if you take a, uh, a mud hog or possibly a DA sander, I'm going to get my camera up, you can see um, just how much better it actually works. You can see it just tearing it apart and working very, very good. So how are you liking this stuff so far? It looks like it's going to work really good. Okay. So even if you're a girl, uh, like maybe the body shop girl, you can do this. You don't have to be a guy to actually do the job. Okay, so we kind of swapped around here. Many was supposed to do this, but we decided we're both going to work on it to get it done. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking the Cooper's steel wool and you can see that uh, by opening it up and kind of moving it around we still got a lot of steel wool left to use. You see what I'm talking about? Huh? Yep. You can see by using the steel wool in the obscure places that I'm using it, it works really good and I haven't taken that out. We're going to take the antenna out all right, now you can come back over here. So basically what I did is I went over the whole thing and this is a, basically our first run after we let it sit. So you can see that it took a lot of the paint off. Like I said, I'm helping Minnie out here. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this thing right here 
And now what I'm doing is I'm going to scratch the surface up where the front, where all the paint is left behind. And what that does, look right at what I did. I went ahead and scratched through it. So that way what happens is the stripper will penetrate that and get down in the grooves where it needs to go. See, watch. See how I'm doing this with this scraper? And what it's doing, it's scratching that paint so the stripper will penetrate in a, a lot faster. We're going to go ahead and repeat our process. Um, the first coat really came out good. It took a lot of the paint off. You can see that. I think the hardest thing to come off on this is this factory primer, that red primer, you know? Yeah. What are you thinking? Yeah. That's what it seems like to me. It got most of the paint off on the first round. The first round did us a good job. So this is Cooper's Stripper Club once again. Um, this was Minnie's job, and now it's turned into my job. She uh, was falling behind. But that's all right. That's what teamwork's all about, I guess. Okay, if you're looking over there, you can see Minnie's on the other side of the car. And we are actually finishing up on this strip job, on this very, very long and extensive job here. And what I'm doing, I am taking my Scotch-Brite. This is the Scotch-Brite that comes with the Coopers. And this was that cleaner I showed you. I showed you, did I show them the cleaner? Yes. I'm gonna show it one more time. So here's the cleaner that uh, Cooper supplies right here that's called Flusher. And what this is, this is a deactivator for the stripper um, when you wash your car. They claim that you don't have to wash it with water. You just wash it with this stuff here and it's ready to start working on Flusher. Okay, so did it do a good job, my friend Pete, or should I ask Minnie, the body shop girl? Did it do a good job, Minnie? I like the Cooper stripper. The only thing I don't like about it is the spray bottle situation. The spray what are you bottle, talking about? Well, it doesn't spray. It doesn't spray well. It'll spray good for a little bit, then it doesn't. Then it'll spray good, then it doesn't. Okay, so you like you like spraying it, but you just don't like the bottle. You'd rather. Well, it, when you're saying that, are you saying you would rather brush it on? Now I'm saying they need to get a better sprayer. So Coopers needs to work on their spray system. Yeah. Um, but other than that, overall. It's an awesome product. So if you were going to rate this one through ten, knowing that the bottle spray bottle is not that good, what would you rate this at? Ten being the best. I'd say. Well, let's go ahead and just do five. One through five. Oh, I'd, one through five, I'd say it's a four. A four due to the bottle spray action. The bottle's the only problem. Yeah. Now they claim once you wash it with the water the flusher like I'm doing, um, you don't have to wash it off with water. Because if you strip a car to bare metal chemically, you're leaving the factory etch on it and you can get the you can get it wet. You can wash it off, you can do whatever you want, and it won't rust. And that right there, that is the advantage of hand stripping versus uh, media blasting. Once again, I want to say the only media blasting that will not remove the factory etching is soda blasting and walnut shell blasting. That's it. Very, very expensive. If you're on a budget, you're possibly doing this at home, or maybe you got your own small business and your customer doesn't want it blasted with uh, dustless blasting, sand blasting, or other blastings. This is what I suggest you do just like I'm doing to this car. We hand strip this car because of the size of the vehicle. Um, it's a one owner car. It's never been stripped to bare metal before. The body is in excellent condition. And by stripping this to bare metal, it's gonna make an awesome 10 point concourse restoration that we're looking for. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Minnie's in the background. Did it wear you out? I will tell you this, I will tell you this, I actually bought two or three gallons of this shit to strip this car, and looky there, I only used, that's, I mean, there's still this much in the can, 
and I stripped this whole car. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, using Cooper Stripper and telling you this is the way to strip the car professionally, right here. So this is the car several months later, approximately seven months later to be honest with you. And we did have some of the car blasted. Now what we had blasted, we went ahead the firewall underneath the car and I believe I had the door jams blasted and then this rear tail panel was blasted over here. And that's why there's epoxy primer on it. Once again, if you have your vehicle blasted, you have got to put epoxy primer on it to seal it. But when you strip it by hand, using the Cooper's Stripper Club product, you can see that this car is still in bare metal. It's been sitting for seven months. That was seven months ago when I filmed that. This car has been sitting here six or seven months in bare metal and there's no rust on it. These are the doors that we stripped. We took the doors off the vehicle. Here's the doors. You can see they're still in bare metal. No rust, no surface rust, no anything. I want to go ahead and explain the deck lid that you're looking at. You can see there's primer on the top and there's no primer on the bottom or very little. This is what I did. This was the very first video that I made of the Cooper's Strip Club product. And we stripped this with Cooper's. This was stripped with Cooper's on this side. And this side was stripped with Aircraft Stripper. So, you tell me who's doing the best job here. This was Aircraft Stripper right there. And then that was Cooper's. And to see that demonstration on the deck lid over there, go to my other YouTube channel, DIY Auto School. That's DIY Auto School. And you'll see the demonstration that I performed on the deck lid of the GTO using aircraft stripper on one half and Cooper stripper on the other half. And you'll see what we're talking about. This is Pete. I'm glad that uh, you are watching this video. And I hope this video helped you out. Um, if you are planning on restoring a car or possibly just stripping metal or possibly wood, this actually works on wood as well as metal. Give Cooper Stripper Club a chance, check it out. They ship this stuff all over the world and let me tell you what, it really, really does the job and does it right.